Hi, this is Darren Docterman with High Flow Fuel Injection, and today I'm going to be showing you how to open up the inlets on a TPI plenum, just a stock GM uh, plenum. And uh, I'm going to show you the most restrictive parts of the, the plenum. Um, as you can see on this particular plenum, I've, uh, I've already done the right side. Um, you can see the uh, the ridge on the unported side right here and uh, you can see that I've taken that out on this side pretty restrictive as it is uh, it's kind of got a beveled inlet here which the inside of it is 48 millimeters the size of the, the stock throttle body and um, you can take that out and just flatten it so it's the whole thing is this, is this size the outside edge here uh, which is 52 millimeter you can see that I've done that over here you can also open it up larger for a 58 millimeter uh, throttle body, uh, you just use a, a gasket, 58 millimeter gasket, lay it on there. Um, you can just use a marker or whatever to to do the outline, and then just follow the outline with the tools. But uh, you can see in here, you can see this little edge. Kind of hard to see, but there's a little ledge in here um, you can smooth out there you can see it it's pretty uh, it's a pretty small area there here you can right in this area it's kind of square and it it doesn't allow for the you get the full benefit of the, the airflow from the throttle body so you can get rid of all that kind of radius it in smooth it in on the sides in here and down in here obviously it just lets the uh, airflow into the plenum easier makes use of your throttle body whatever size it may be uh, makes better use of the, the airflow you get more of the the airflow potential and uh, you start out or what I start out with is the standard tools that I use here this uh, die grinder with the long um, open flute carbide for non-ferrous metals like aluminum and that's how I do all the all the shaping and uh, that's how I, I get the the size and the shape that I want and then I'll finish with this die grinder that has a 80 80 grade um, cartridge roll, so the standard abrasives cartridge roll, um, two inches long, uh, half inch in diameter with a uh, quarter inch hole for the mandrel. And if you want to clean off like the gasket surfaces, you can see I've already done that on on this one. On, uh, Cleaned it off real good, got it ready for, uh, you know, to go on the car. The gasket will stick a little better. Um, I use this 90 degree grinder. Put this sanding disc, which is pretty worn out, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty rough disc. Uh, I don't even remember, I don't remember exactly what the, uh, what the grade is, what the grit would be, but it's pretty rough. Um, but it works well for any gasket areas, you know, getting all the, you know, unwanted stuff off it, old gasket material, um, grease, whatever it may be. But, uh, that's, that's pretty much how it's done. Fairly simple procedure, it takes a little bit of time, but 
you can see that uh, that it definitely has benefits. Um, it just helps you make use of that throttle body. Um, lets you know, lets it take use of all the CFM that the throttle body can supply instead of you know being restricted by by this stuff. You know, only so much airflow can go through that. I mean, obviously there's a there's a big difference between the the right and the left uh, inlets here, but uh, anyway, that's that's pretty much how it's done. Um, uh, leave leave a comment if you if you'd like. Um, subscribe to my videos. Check out High Flow Fuel Injection on Facebook and and eBay. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.